Hello, I'm Peter Jones of MGF Mania. Today we're going to show the fitting of a complete hood to an MGF and TF. That's a glass screened hood. We supply it complete with this fitting kit. Everything's included. A CD video to show you exactly how to fit the hood, so you can actually refer to that as reference, maybe on the laptop in the car. Uh, the set of elastic straps to convert the frame to fold with a glass screen. The necessary ceiling strips, pair of tensioner cables, the wiring, the rivets, everything is in, in the kit. What we don't provide is contact adhesive. Typically you can buy that from the local uh, hardware suppliers. Um, as long as it's a solvent based adhesive, um, the water based ones wouldn't be effective. The tools that I'll actually be using is hammer, drill, drill bits, knife, a pop rivet gun and either a chisel, although you could actually use a screwdriver um, to remove the rivet heads if you hadn't got one. It's useful but not essential to have a trim tool. Um, you'll see why I use a trim tool. A screwdriver would do just as, as well instead. So first item we've got to do is take the old hood off. So having re removed the clips from the inside, just release the five clips, we can then lift up the rear bow. That means we can then cover the working surface. What we will do at this moment in time, put the hood away inside the car. And to remove the old hood, simplest way is cut it off. Right, having cut the one side off, we'll continue with the other. Lift it up over the straps here, just run the knife down the sides. This makes it then much easier to work on. What we now do is literally cut the rear bow off. Going through several layers of material here. Having done the one side, we then move round and finish the job. There's going to be some more rivet chopping in a minute. I'm thinking logically. Okay, so having removed all the rivets, we can now remove the retaining strip, which we're going to reuse later. And having removed the retaining strip, we can pull the screen. Off. Then we have to remove the rivet snubs. Okay, what we're going to do now is remove the rest of the rivets, firstly by cutting them off, then having cut them all off, what we do is knock them through, use a punch. Three millimetre punch is ideal, you can get away with just using a nail, but for a couple of pounds that a punch would cost, it's probably worth doing. So now we unbolt the other end of the tensioner cable, which is held in place by a 7mm bolt. This one's come loose okay, but you can see that they are corroded. What we do if you snap it off is drill a little hole and put in a self tapper screw. So now we're going to remove the hood catches. a hex key. Often people
people take this opportunity to put stainless steel bolts in. So having removed the old rivets, we take this old foam, foam off the metal strip. So we're going to reuse the metal strip with the new foam supplied in the MGF Mania wood fitting kit. So having fastened the end of the tensioner cable in that end, we loop it through the frame, clip it over the tang, and check that it's correctly in position. So now, having removed the hood, fitted the straps and tensioner cables, we can actually fit the new hood. Put it on here to support on the elastic, and then we take the tensioner cable, and feed the tensioner cable through its pocket on the side of the hood. Feed it through the frame and over the tang. bend it back. Okay. Having secured the tension cables, the first task now is to glue the B-pillar strips. You can either use a tube of glue, obviously as professionals we have a glue gun which makes the job easier, quicker. Having applied the glue to the raw cloth on the one side, we do the other and then we just literally let them dry. Now, having allowed the first coat to dry, we apply the second coat to the cloth. And now we apply one coat to the metal. The reason we only need to apply one coat to the metal is that the solvent in the glue, hence the reason why we use the solvent glue, reactivates the solvent on the frame already. Yep. So having applied the coat of glue to the B pillar, we now put the first coat onto the corner of the hood. Again the same procedure will be we allow this to dry and then we reactivate the old glue on the hood. Okay. Right and now that the glue is tacked off on both of the surfaces, we fit this B pillar making sure that the plastic substrate is tucked over the metal edge all the way down to the bottom corner. So we start down here, tuck it over, When we have it in position, the holes will line up with the holes in the frame. So we now drill through the holes to make sure they're lined up. So now we refit the B pillar strip by putting rivet through. And then of course we need the pop rivet gun. So having fitted the channel in place, we now insert the seal by sliding it up from the bottom. So now we fit the corners. Having fitted the corner, we then turn over the tape, put it onto the tang, and bend it down. Then we can actually push the hood, push the hood forward. Oops, sorry. Right. Okay. So now we stretch this out. We can see the corner is fitted correctly. 
So we now need to just re-glue the front section. So now we reaffix the header rail cover. We put the hole, sorry, the rivet through the centre hole, which is circular. All the rest are elongated. And in the centre hole in the frame, once it's in place, Then we just continue along, firstly one side, then the other. So now having riveted the header rail cover into place, we put the new foam strip in the MGF Mania kit over the rivet heads so we have a nice smooth header rail. If you don't do this, believe me, the rivets show. Having refitted the clips, we can then replace the plastic strip before fitting the catches. Okay. So simply refasten the catches into exactly the same place they came off. They can only fit on one side, so there's no problem with crossing them over. Now the hood's fastened in place, we can actually fasten the tie-down strap with the screw provided. So now we start off in the centre of the metal strip, only one round hole. Also, I mess up to the hole in the centre. Once we have that into the centre of the frame, having riveted the back of the hood, we're finally now ready to put on the side strips. We then apply the foam sealing strip across the bottom of the rail, self-adhesive, so it simply passes straight on over the witness marks where the old foam strip was removed. So we now put the wiring behind the carpet, fasten these clips down and replace the carpet. Okay. okay. So now the hood is all fitted. We can remove these strips. Stick them down onto the listing bow. And the job's almost complete. We now need just to fit the anti-lock straps. Okay, so now we just fit the anti-lock straps. Have I already fitted that side? Just bring it down, wrap it around the bow. advance than the velcro. Now everything's in place. We'll be able to fold the hood. Straight down as simple as that. So here we have the completed hood fitted. And that's how simple it falls down.